Hello and welcome to Devil May Cry, Legendary Dark Knight Edition. Table mode, and this is me basically playing. Right, see, I'm starting with mission 2 because I don't think mission 1 is worth the upper mode. Right, so we have to start now. Start busting him. I'm really clumsy at this game, by the way, you can see me. Um, I do a lot of babyish mistakes, so. If you watch this video, please help me because I have more for this game properly. You see, I took him away so I can focus on the other guys later, and now I'm going to do the drop kick. Oh, yes. <laughs> right, what the fuck is this? Um, I think I hit in the second. <laughs> Oh, this is terrible, terrible, terrible. See? I'll oh, bet you it's just that one. Ah, oh, god. <laughs> oh, god. Look at these bitches go. You see, I really, really love, love charge up the gun. I really love the um, initial big bang of the gun and the uh, aftershock of the explosion. I just reckon it's the best thing in the game, you see me abuse that a lot. Also, I normally exceed before I um, go to the next area when I know there's going to be enemies. Because I really love the um, streak. Power up and exceed. Right, this part is like probably the first hard bit. Well, not really that hard, but you see like these armored guys, the hardest enemy in the game, in my opinion. The lightest one size, I reckon so much very easy. Right, see, I can get hit. <laughs> Quite terrible. I always, I love using the air plugs and swords and then we with both. He's definitely fair, John. <laughs> oh, look, that special move, really man. Especially when you're not using the air I got very confused this part because I couldn't see this last enemy. I got like, oh, okay then. Frame rate dropped down like fuck over there, man. I played this 35 FPS while recording and it was quite annoying at some times, but I managed to get through it. It was good. I should tell I'm skipping all cutscenes because I don't think they're very. Uh, Essential to this playthrough. Yeah, why that should be there? Because even though I charge, yeah, the charge won't be there. See, that's why I don't like exceed last for cutscenes, but the charge of shots don't. It's bullshit. Watch your hand now. I love these air uh, things. The big ones, but I really don't like it when the air jump in the air and roll. Oh my god, watch I get hit now. Yep, that's annoying too. Baby should say. Also, I taunt when I get hit because I need time to think back. I'm not doing the show, I really need time to think what the fuck I'm doing. Since the first game, I've hated the witches, and I can be the worst form of the ever. Do you remember the original Sins? Such a nerd. Bastards with masks. Oh god. What are these supposed to be, by the way? They're like, like um, these kind of squid octopus things? Like Bape and Shadows. Anyway, I abuse this one so fully. <laughs> one, two, three. Uh, SS SSS Taunting there yeah. Just to show off that one Just show off again I was quite sad that I got the same taunt twice in a row Because I really wanted the air When we spread his arms out go oh, shh Oh god I tried to show off the air by um, I never trigger now. I'll try to um, set them all half or again, again, rigged. 
No, I really shouldn't be saying what happened. See, I really should be saying what happened to you on this Let's Play, because I'm recording after I've recorded it, so it's not a traditional Let's Play, but it's the only way I can figure out after this. Oh man, so many mistakes. But, um, no, it's always embarrassing when you get hit by the, um, the lowest ranking enemy in the game. Yeah, I just keep getting blasted back. <laughs> See how crappy they'll talk then. Actually, I poisoned the blade that time falling on my head. Look at these fucking. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Don't worry, through the answer, for like who you will possibly see the blade falling down on me. Embar very, very embarrassing. So the bench, this is a turbo mode, by the way, that's why everything's going fast, you know, it's called very I think it's twice or three times as fast the original game. See another tone to see what's going on. Also, time to exceed, which is quite funny. Oh, yes, I love I love the exceed streak so much. I wish more of the um, game was set in Fortuna. Is that I forgot to the city of Fortuna? Anyway, I really hope. I mean, I really wish when I first saw the game that the entire game would be set inside the city itself. But it turns out it's only like six missions are in the city, and three of those missions are original content. I depressed. Because I really like the castle setting of the first game, and I really did like Devil May Cry 3 for some reason, because the tower was very, very boring. Also, this affairs, oh my god, how many are them part of the game? It's at least, uh, I don't know, 30, 40, 50. I've got a coffee tower. But, oh my god. Probably 25. <laughs> keep respawning, you see, so probably is 50. No, oh, I failed, that's to recharge. I'll do that later though. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. SSS. I shouldn't really be proud of this because SSS is too easy in this play because it's too much to hit. I always use the um, devil trigger to um, either do invincibility for like um, frames or stun everyone in my area. So you see me flicking it on and off a lot. It's quite an easy tactic by the way, it got me through um, Dante Must Die, Flick Up and Downhill. So if you didn't know about the invincibility frames, please, please. Do it. It only works in Nero though. For some reason I got FPS like then. <coughs> I got a little bit embarrassed here. Yeah. That's a big one for me. Way exceed. And again. I get really bored of trying to kill him here. <laughs> That's why I kill him one hit. Oh yeah, it's another map, so I'll just shoot him here. <laughs> and run away because he's dead anyway. As you see. Oh, looks like I'm gonna drop the freeze there. Failed. <laughs> oh wow, this is bad. Right, come on to the um, first, or should I say, second boss fight in the old Countdown thing. But it's gonna be the first boss fight in this Let's Play anyway, so. 